So I have a confession to make. I used to be very competitive. Everything that I did, I had to be the absolute best. Whether not basketball or education or even one where I know no self. Ah, uh-uh, I not be Nigerian. We be. We must learn now. But as I've evolved, I've come to recognize a few things about competitive nature. Number one, in most cases, it's actually a trauma response. Many of us grew up in homes where if you didn't come first or second or shameful third, your parents were asking you whether the person would carry first. He carried two head. And so we began to equate our worth and our value with positioning in life. The further up front we were, the more that narrative got reinforced. I've since learned though that I, in and of myself, more than enough. Number two, when we compete with others, we actually betray our own authenticity. Our standards and visions are then measured by external factors that fail to take into consideration our unique giftings and idiosyncrasies. When we start with an external measurement of our worth, we become enslaved to its validation. And finally, when we compete with others, we slow down our own progress in life. That time that we spend in comparison could be better spent building, progressing, enlarging. And so I've stopped turning around to see who's behind me, beside me, in front of me in the race. Rather, the goal is to compete with me. Am I an upgraded version of my last model? If the answer is in the affirmative, then I take a moment to give gratitude for my growth and I j- 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 return my running shoes. Those are this recovering competitors' thoughts of the day. Do with them as you will.